On Gearbox today, I'm joined by Vince Haddad from Show Technology. He's brought along the new Martin Mac Viper profile. Vince, it's smaller, lighter, brighter, more efficient. Tell us about the Viper, mate. Well, thanks for having me, first of all. Um, yes, it's a, it's a very exciting time for us. Um, as we all know, in the past, the Mac 2000 has been a very, very much an industry workhorse, and um, it's getting on in age, so Martin have produced a, a light which hopefully will take its place. Next gen. Next gen, exactly. So um, a unit which is, you know, uh, 33 kilos as opposed to 50 kilos, which is 26,000 lumens as opposed to 19,500 lumen. Um, thousand watt lamp? Thousand watt lamp, more efficient. Um, the lamp is one of the key factors in this, better CRI than, than most of the other lamps and that, that are available. And it's cheaper to replace too, yeah? Absolutely, yeah. So um, that's what, that, they're the exciting bits about it. But I think really the main thing is a smaller, brighter lighter. That's the, the main motto of the, mm. their, their ad campaign with this. Um, it, it gives you a lot of punch for your money. Now, on, on that note, um, getting a lot of punch for your money, on shows, obviously, reliability is a key thing mm -hmm. um, and being able to fix problems quickly when they occur. This runs CAN bus, yeah? Yeah, it's a, it's, it's, it's a modular system which is easy to replace modules, easy to strip the unit down for servicing and cleaning because, as you know, when you, you know, a, a unit, if it's got, you know, a little bit of dust on the lenses, you can probably lose about 20% of your output. So the whole thing is to make it easy to service and easy to clean so, therefore, you get the maximum out of your fixture. The other thing is the CAN bus system. So, therefore, it's based on the Mac 3 technology where the unit is basically, um, there is no main PCB, every module has its own um, control board. So therefore the problem is local or, or, or you know, uh, focused down to the module. So if, the, if you have a color problem, it'll you're be gonna on know the, where to look. You're gonna look, no exactly, it's got a full error reporting system so it'll actually tell you where the problem is, swap the module out and off you go. And the modules are all self-calibrated, yeah? So when Absolutely. you put a new module in, yeah. you don't have to so worry about So the calibration is stored on the actual problems. module itself, and also the calibration can be done from any DMX console. So you can actually do it. You can service the unit basically while it's hanging. That's pretty cool. Which is very cool. All the, all the screws are retained, so when you're hanging from a harness in a rig, you're not going you know, to lose anything or this, that and the other. It's very simple. Everything's easy and smooth to replace. So they've really thought about the serviceability of these units. Nice, and I guess added to that, there's more in the way of gobos. We've got Absolutely. now two rotating gobo wheels. Yep, well, uh, originally the Mac 2000 had two rotating gobo wheels. The Performance had an animation wheel. Um, there are four models coming up, which is the, um, the Mac Viper Profile, which you see now, which is the first of the unit. Then we have an Air FX. We have a, a wash light, and then uh, hopefully, you know, early the next year, we'll see a Performance uh, Viper, basically. With the framing shutters. With the framing shutters and okay. so on. The current configuration of the Viper that you see here is uh, basically two rotating gobo wheels, um, which is as per the, 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 Mac, uh, the Mac 2000. The Mac 700 had a, uh, a, a rotating gobo wheel and a static wheel. This has got two rotating and also a static slash animation wheel. So basically it's a static pressed wheel, with, which has got half of the wheel is basically gobos or static gobos, and the other half of the wheel are just animation slots. So and you the, can sort of drift that in and out of the You can drift it, and it there's does. macros to make it go back and forth smoothly for you and stuff like that to make it easy to program. Oh, so, nice. Yeah. And better yet, it's now got handles in all the right places. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So, uh, once again, um, taking the lead from the Mac 3, they put handles on the yoke, so when you are rigging it and so on, it's, it's just easy to handle. You've got some control, handle. and there's a yoke yeah. lock too and as the well. And the yoke lock as, as, as well, yeah. And the unit sits in the case with its clamps on, so you can actually tour it in the case with Wheel the lamps Wheel it in, on. hook, go. Absolutely, and I lift it out of the case, basically. So, yeah, very good configuration, very well thought out, um, and, yeah, being 33 kilos is just phenomenal to get 26,000 lumens. There you go, next the generation. Size. Mac Viper Profile. Thanks, Vince. Thank you.